Hey everybody, Dave here. Got another video for you. Um, this one has to do with adding birds into um, Pydex when you have a lot of birds to add or um, it, it's just another way to add birds. Um, and so I'm going to show you the way that I used to do it and now the new way that I do it and I think it works really nice. Um, at least it worked really easy for me. So let me del delve in, dive in here and kind of show you what I was talking about. So let's open up Pydex. Um, and once it opens up here, when I used to create a lot of birds, I used to always go under data transfer here. You know, even I'm learning all the time on how to do this stuff. Um, then I would go under the fancier here. And I created one in here now called um, Joe Smith. So he has no birds at all, you know, in his clock, okay, or I have not added any. So a lot of times I used to go just in here and start adding them on the, on the left side of this, you know, over here for the PC database. So I'd go down here under this, you know, and then I would, you know, type in the, the country, which most birds in ours are AU birds, you know, the year, and then type in the club. And I'm getting from from each field, by the way, I'm pressing my tab key on the keyboard. Then I would put in, you know, let, let's say his first bird, change the, the gender, and then, you know, put in the color, tab, tab, down to the, the disk here. And then I would um, press add, and then I would add a bird, okay? And then I would continue. Now, if I pressed enter again on my keyboard, it comes up you know, kind of already defaulted to the last thing that I did. But if there were many birds in there, you know, let's say a different country, like an IF bird, um, and in a different year, sometimes when I press enter on here, this would all be different. Now, this is set to go to the next number of the bird, assuming that it's a Vita bird in that year, in that, in that country. But if it's not, and you're jumping all over, and um, I'm going to show you another way how to do it. So I'm, I'm not going to enter the next bird. I'm just going to press the red X here. If you go back to registration up here, and and you get this looking where it shows the, the pigeons on the in this box on the right over here. And go down. Let's go back to Smith. Okay, now he there's his one bird, and you see it's not chipped. He has no... Um, chip associated with this bird <laughs> down here see you can also add birds from here um, and let's add another bird now if I just hit insert bird here now see it does come up that way but what I'm going to do I'm going to change this over here to an IF bird and then I'm going to um, go over here to and make it a 16 and let's just call it a JJ bird and it's a 250 blue bar, okay? So now that's in there. Now if I go to press add on here, see, look at, now if I want to go back to AU birds, do you see what's happening here? It's set to IF16 into that. Um, so what I'm going to do is show you what, what I did and how I can make this set up on here. So by pressing enter on the keyboard, I can keep going through a range of, birds and keep adding them so i'm going to close out of this if you just go back to the top here and put in au and let's say we're going to do um just an au bird um for a vita okay like that and i hit that notice now do you see that it's set to back to where it was my enter key i'm back to au 15 vita and what I can do is, let's say the next one's going to be a 17 bird, okay? And that's going to be a 0, 0,400 blue bar like that. Okay, so now I've added that one. So now, notice, see, the IF bird doesn't show up underneath here. But if I'm going to do a whole bunch of 17 birds, okay, just go up into this box and put 17. Now I'm set up to... When I go down here to hit this, now I'm in the range by pressing enter under Vita 17AU. I can just keep going like a 0, 0200, 
you know, um, go down here and hit enter. Hit enter again, and I can go 0, 0800, you know, enter. Do you see how nice that is that um, you're set up? If you do not go into this and put anything up here, you know, on the top up here, you know, up here, you know, it's going to be jumping all over. So uh, you may have to create the first bird in your series that you're doing, you know, get it in there, you know, for the AU-17 or whatever club you're doing. Once you get it in there, then you can go back up on the top and, um, you know, do that. Now, one other thing that I can say on here is if you do, let's say that we're in here and you know that the member has got, you know, if I move this down just so you can see behind this here, let's say he had all birds in a range, 8, 801, 802, 803, 804. And if I go in here and put 801, which is the next bird after 800, because we've created that one, and you put a check in the sequence number here, you could go in here like this and go 08, um, let's just do a smaller range, 25, okay? Now, you got to realize one thing. All of these birds, of course, will all be a, a hen because you can only, you know, it's going to create all these birds from 802, 803, 804, all the way to, and they're all going to be blue bars. So you'd have to go back in and correct all of the colors that are wrong. But if I go and hit add here, it'll create them. Look what it did. See, it just created all of those birds in a range. Isn't that nice? So then you don't have to go through it. And if I wanted to go into this one and change the color, all I'd have to do is click on the wrench here and, you know, go over here. And then let's just say it's a, you know, a, a splash or something, however your code, you know, your um, club dictates those colors and hit this. And now that's changed. So anyway, so I hope this was a, a helpful thing to somebody out there. Um, it definitely was you know, for me. Um, and you can also do so much other stuff from here. Like, you know, you can chip the bird from here. Um, you can um, select all the birds. And then you could delete all the birds. You could unchip, you know, the bird if it's chipped wrong, you know. So just always feel comfortable in this field in here, the registration spot, which I guess... Um, when I went up here to the help up here about Pydex to not not there I'm sorry the um, the help me part up here to learn about that registration tab, um, you know I guess it really didn't do a good job for me in the way that my brain works to understand you know what it was for. Um, um, maybe more people if they had been helped out more it would have been a nice continuation to, oh, I understand that. But to me, this was all kind of lost. I know it says inserting data and changing and coupling and, and all of that. Even when you hit inserting, it comes up into this, which looks to me like the field back under my data entry rather than the registration. So um, I guess I don't I don't know. Um, it, it just was not helpful at all to me. So anyway... So I hope this helped out somebody out there. And um, till the next video I make, everybody have a happy day. And we'll talk again real soon. Thanks.